Yo, what's going on Epic 7? I'm Sue and this is my epic hell guide for nature's decline and decay aka the green advent updated for 2024. They changed this fight since last year so obviously it you know necessitates a new guide. I just want to say that this is advent content therefore it's some of the hardest in all of Epic 7. There is a good chance that you might not be able to clear this especially if you are a newer player. You should at least still be able to clear the hell difficulty and I've already made a guide for that link down in this video's description. You will probably need to build certain characters, right? That you might not have in order to clear this. You'll probably have to move around some of your best gear in order to actually do this. Thankfully, you only need to clear it three times. I will offer my suggestions on alternatives whenever I can. But again, it's hard content. It's not meant to be easy. You're meant to have to use very obscure characters. Anyways, let's jump into it talk about the teams and why we're playing them. So these are the teams that I've decided to play. Team one is Bologna, Vivian, and Senya. And then team two here is Red Tenebria, Tamarin, Araminta. Team three honestly doesn't even really matter that much, but I decided to go with Carmaine Rose, Haste, and Mascot Hazel. So let's talk about team one and why we're playing them. So the mechanic of floor one is called Retaliation Mana. In order to dispel it, you need to hit the ads that are accompanying the boss five times when they are provoked or redirected provoked. The easiest way to do this is to have a character with an AOE provoke. So Senya is obviously the front runner, but Red Cecilia or Maya, those could also work. You could also use like Yulha if you are desperate, if you don't have access to Senya. But for the most part, you want an AOE provoke. It makes things incredibly easy, right? Second up, your highest attack hero needs a non-attack skill otherwise they receive a curse debuff which means that they do almost no damage and while they have the curse debuff they are going to be helping the boss by cleansing all of your debuffs you want a defense breaker in order to make things super easy so again make sure your highest attack hero has a non-attack skill anyways after that defense breaker is a plus in order to get off the floor as fast as possible while keeping the boss's stacks down Obviously, every time you hit the boss, he gets faster and stronger for the other phases. So the least amount of attacks possible would be the key. And then finally, some kind of way to sustain in case shit hits the fan. So let's talk about who we're playing and why. All right. First up is Senya. Now, in order to provoke with Senya, you want around 85% effectiveness, if at all possible. Uh, I'm playing 82 here, but 85 should be the recommended amount. And then also... The adds and the boss will constantly strip her counter buff, which massively reduces her overall damage. So in order to circumvent that, it would be nice, but it's not mandatory that you have 200% effect resistance on your characters. I'm playing Lifesteal for the sustain. And then we have the uh, greater attack buff here on the S3 for the exclusive equipment. Do note, her attack with her passive must be lower than your primary damage dealer. So, if you want to have Senya be your tank for this fight, make sure her attack is lower than whoever else you play, right? And for our primary damage there, I am playing Vivian. So, two requirements for building Vivian. Number one, highest attack hero on the team. Number two, fastest hero on the team and can actually outspeed Senya when she gets the speed buff from her passive at the start of the fight. Daydream Joker here, even though it has half effectus, is an amazing option. Exclusive equipment must be dispels one debuff from all allies in order to remove the stigma. Otherwise, you cannot consistently deal damage to the boss. Vivian is free. And as far as I can tell, the simplest character to play this with. So I don't see why most people wouldn't use her. New players have her. Veterans, you're probably playing this character for Banshee or Golem or Azimatic already. I don't see a reason to offer an alternative to Vivian. And then finally, for our consistent defense breaker slash healer, I'm playing Bologna. You might not need a healer if your damage is good enough, so your mileage may vary. You could also use any other ranger in this slot. With Bloodstone, that would also work for you. You do not need Unity Set. Only requirements for Bologna. Less attack than Vivian. Less speed than Vivian. 85% effectus. Exclusive equipment does not matter. You can play anything you want on this character. Cool. Super clear and consistent Team 1. Now, moving on to Team 2, you have a choice to make. Do you want to... Do the mechanics or ignore the mechanics. Let's talk about if you want to actually do the mechanics, which will make Team 2 way harder. But if you're able to do it, 
Team 3 is a complete joke, right? All right. So in order to get past the second phase here, you need to hit the boss five times with single target attacks while they have three or more debuffs. Doing this makes it so that the boss loses his counter attack chance on the final floor. You'll have a 100% chance to counter if you don't disable it, right? So that's why we need to do it. Secondly, we need a cleanser to remove stigma constantly from our heroes because the boss will be putting these buffs down and every time you attack the boss while you have stigma, he's going to cleanse debuffs, right? So that makes it very hard in order us, for us to remove the actual buffs that he has, kind of accomplish the mechanics of the fight because we can't keep debuffs on him. Additionally, he is accompanied by these mushrooms that do big damage, they explode, poison you, all that awful stuff you've probably seen from like the abyss floors, right? Anytime you attack the boss, the mushrooms get a ton of combat readiness. So having AoE restrict, uh, AoE sleep, AoE stun, these are all really, really good things. Hopefully though, you don't kill the mushrooms too often because whenever you kill them, the boss cleanses some debuffs, gets a barrier, uh, gets enraged so he gets faster and stronger, things like that. You can kill them for sure, but it does make things a little bit difficult, right? Now, as for the second way to do this, right? If you have Spectre Tenebria, you can ignore the mechanics, right? I already talked about way two. In that case, go nuts. Just play any two AoE damage dealers. Hopefully one of them has a defense break and a sustain and just absolutely blitz the boss. Don't care about putting debuffs on him whatsoever and proceed to phase three where you use Spectre Tenebria right? All right, let's talk about who I'm playing and why. For my healer, I'm using Tamarin. Tamarin's not necessarily the best character for this, but everyone has access to her. Potion Vial is a must in order to get rid of Stigma. Effectiveness, it would be ideal if you could have 85% plus, because that way when you're in idle mode, the one dual attack that you're going to go for in idle mode can actually strip the buffs that the boss puts down, namely speed buff, which makes things very hard if he's constantly got speed up. So that would be super nice. But otherwise, it's just Tamarin. A standard Tamarin will work fine. Faster is better. The best character I have found for this floor is Tenebria on Abyssal Crown. Because that way she has access to a defense break, which ups our damage, right? She has Restrict. She has Slow. She has uh, Sleep. And with Abyssal Crown, she has Stun. So she literally has all four things that make things super, super uh, easy for this floor. As for the exclusive equipment... You want the gab on Nightmare, and that is because you need Tenebria to actually have real damage stats while also having at least 85% effectives. So that way she can do all the debuffing stuff, but also put your uh, the boss on a reasonable clock and kill her in a reasonable amount of time. If you don't play a lot of damage on your Tenebria, it massively increases the RNG of the fight. Please get your damage as high as possible. I've cleared it with as low as like 200 excuse me 220 crit damage and like 3000 attack right that is the lowest i've cleared it with and it is miserable having over like 3800 attack 250 crit damage will make things so much easier now for the final character you can play nearly any damage dealer that you want but having a character with debuffs that also deals damage is an amazing thing to have which is why i'm going with araminta i have also been able to clear this thing with Cirilla, right? So you can use Cirilla if you so choose. Uh, she is a free-to-play option, right? But I'm going with Araminta, and you want your attack on Araminta to be super high because you're not playing a primary damage dealer, so you need your burns to be impactful. By having a character that has burns on your team, it makes getting the three debuffs absolutely trivial. She also has stuns in her kit as well, so that'll be fine, right? Now, as for the artifact, I'm going with Iella Violin in order to help Tamarin, like, lighten the load and get rid of the speed buff that is constantly on the boss. Get rid of the barriers it puts down. So, Araminta is, like, a very elegant solution. 85% effectiveness. After that, dump everything that you can into attack and speed. It will make your life a lot easier. And yes, before someone asks, Silverblade Araminta will work just as well in this same exact slot. So, yeah, Araminta is my choice for your primary damage dealer because she just does good damage, which she has really high attack and also makes the mechanics a breeze. So, again, choose her if you have her. Otherwise, you're going to have to get pretty creative and pick another primary damage dealer that also happens to have some debuffs in their kit that are not defense break, slow, right, restrict, or sleep. Now, 
if you manage to make it to the final floor and you have not, you know, ignored the mechanics, right? Like, so basically you did the mechanics properly, then you're pretty much home free. At this point, all you need to do is choose a defense breaker, some kind of healer that can remove debuffs and a damage dealer. The core mechanic of the fight is that the boss does less damage if he has debuffs on him. So, you know, haste is a pretty good option here, right? He's got a defense break on his skill three and the bleed stacks reduce the damage further. So that's why he's the no brainer option for the defense break. You can also play Veronica. You could play Elagos. Anything that has a near 100% defense break chance, that's what you want to be playing in this slot. Since I'm playing an all fire team, Mascot Hazel is the very clear healer choice here because she gives greater attack buff, cleanses, and heals. Prophetic Candlestick here in order to cycle her cooldowns a bit easier. Montmorency also works in the slot. I'm sure Destina probably also works in the slot. Any healer that also can cleanse uh, is good, but Mascot Hazel gives an attack buff, so she's got a one up there. That's why I'm choosing her. And then in the final slot, you have Delic Carmen Rose. You could play any damage dealer in the slot. I'm just choosing Zealot Carmen Rose because free to play option also has debuffs in the kit so she can help out haste makes things really easy has a really nice combat range pushback as well in case things hit the fan so that's really good uh as for effectiveness if you do decide to play her as close to 80 percent as possible I'm just using an artifact that gives a bunch of effectiveness and gives vampiric touch so that that way we could further load it up with debuffs but honestly if you've made it this far like even Sermia probably works fine uh, you probably want to play Haste plus Sermia. I've had people tell me that like Elagos um, and Veronica just simply aren't super amazing with Sermia. Uh, but again, anything else you want to play here is fine. You could also play like Politus here, right? Not necessarily this Politus, but like one like this, right? And then just soul burn your way to victory once you get the defense break. And that kind of segues us into the final team, which is if you have Spectre Tenderia and you ignored the mechanics on the last one, remember Spectre can't be countered on her basic attack skill. So all you got to do is defense break uh, with your character. You'll get countered, probably have stigma placed on your team. Then you want your cleanser to go second, uh, have them cleanse and ideally also attack buff up your Spectre and then just have Spectre soul burn all of the souls you've gotten throughout the fight. And it should be an easy win. Anyways, I know that was lengthy, but there you go. That explains all the mechanics. So that way you're armed with all of the knowledge to choose the characters in your box that are best able to help you win the fight. Let's jump into it so we can see how an actual run works. All right. Now at the start here, you're gonna get hit with this AOE attack and that's gonna proc Senya's passive. Remember, we need Vivian to cut in front of the speed buff Senya here. Are you confident? All right, so as you can see here, we got the curse, right? Reduces our damage. We want S3 to get rid of it and also any stigma on the rest of our characters due to our exclusive sad. equipment. All right, now here comes the big RNG check of uh, the fight. There's one here and one at the tail end for the defense break. We need a defense break here. All right, we got it. And then we use Esther with Senya. And hopefully we provoke both of these because otherwise this defense break is just going to get cleansed. So we want to provoke both. Got both. And as you can see here, there's retaliation mana three dispelled, right? We're going to skill one here because it does more damage with Vivian. There's Retaliation 4. Now we want to use Butterfly Fan here, the S2, in order to pick up the last Retaliation mana and still deal damage while be building focus, right? And then we just rush the boss. Skill 1. And then the S3 should pick it up here. All right, if not, we'll pick it up on the next attack. Get behind me. All right, now we go to the next phase. All right, so if Tamarin goes first, you actually want to skill two because if you push, you hit anything else, you'll just push everybody up. So just skill two. And now you want Araminta to stun everything here uh, or sleep if you're uh, Tenebria. I'll show you the advantage, though, of having you both of these characters on the same team, though, in a second. What are you gonna do? You may try all right, so now you can basically push all everybody back here with Restrict if they're all stunned. 
Weep and wail. I. All right. I think and now it has three debuffs, so we could go here. There's counter attack mana one to spell. Shall we begin? We can go skill two here. In peace. <laughs> Immature. All right. And then we can go. Go skill one here. Bring it on. To try to get rid of the, the debuffs there. Together. There's three. Lucky dual attack. I'm scared. We're going to save this again. We're just trying to get rid of uh, counter attack mana. And there you go. It's gone already. Now all you have to do is just kill the boss. Oh I'm just going to sleep everything. Go for the defense break here. In order to mitigate damage. At this point, all we got to do is just slowly kill the boss. You can't close your eyes. You can heal up here. Go away. You may try to defy me. We'll save our slow. Shall we give this a go? We'll save our stun. I'm scared. Go idle mode here. Listen. To my song. Listen to me sing. Ladies and gentlemen, let's shine. Go for our Come slow and restrict. Please. To go for our damage plus stun and hopefully yellow violin strips the speed buff there there we go uh let's just go hit this because i don't want to accidentally right i don't want to cleanse these off if i can help it i want that damage there shall we begin let's show them what we've got Shall we give this a go? I... I think I'm going to see. Oh my, how cute. Go defense break here. Because he's not going to summon ads for a little bit. Sadly didn't get it. Bring it on. You may try to define... Blow him. And wait. You can't close your eyes. Uh, at this point, we can just go... Let's go S2 here. Go away. We're pretty much there at this point. Shall we give this a go? Should I we can go for the stun that? again here on the ads. I'm scared. Idle mode. Listen. And then Tenebria should be able to easily pick up the kill here once she has attack ball. Ladies and gentlemen, let's shine. Immature. I say easily, and then she proves me wrong. All right. There we go. <laughs> Phase three. All right. Now, if you've gotten rid of the first two mechanics, you're pretty much home free at this point. So you want to go kill three here. Hopefully get a defense break. I will kill them all. Time to spread the word. All right. So we want to go skill three here for the buffs. Kill three here on Hazel. Please hurry. It's urgent. Uh, how dare you pick a fight with me? Go S2 here. Boring. Will you help me? Kill up here. Oh my, Push him back. There's no escape. Don't worry. Defense I break. Can't I can't I can't do this. We're gonna save a girl in uniform just because he's gonna strip it in a second. If I win, you join us. Deal. How dare you pick a fight with me? Hopefully get a defense break. Got it. I wish someone would help me. Girl in uniform. Uh-huh. Just as planned. Kill three. Nice. So be good and follow me. Target confirmed. Defense break. This is what you get for playing with me. You'll help me, right? Kill two to heal up. Oh, S2 to push back and deal damage. As you can see at this point, it's like near impossible to lose. Shall I kill all of you? And there you have it. Epic Hell Clear for the Green Advent for 2024. Hopefully this guide and walkthrough was super helpful to you. Like, comment, and subscribe. All those wonderful things help me out here a ton. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. And if you have a different clear that can help players, post that down in the comment section as well. 
As always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later now.